when we file a claim, is it is it private or public? Depends, man. First, you uh, you try to settle it. Obviously, you're making a claim with the other side. You give them notice that there's going to be a suit pending. You know, there's going to be a suit coming in. Once it's uh, put it into the court clerk's office, she gives you a case number. It's public. We're gonna have to, yeah, we have to pay. Yeah, we gotta pay for that case number. Well, yeah, you work work out some sort of payment plan with us. Just work out a payment plan with us. Right. So I mean, we gotta file that in the civil in the civil department, correct? Oh well, you just say you just go to the courthouse. You're just looking for the court clerk. You don't worry about what department they they file it in. You just say, hey, I've got a uh, uh, case I want to file, and I'm going to require a courtroom, and uh, you know. And they, uh, here's proof that the other side has been uh, served, and uh, you know. And I guess in 22, 23 days, we're going to require a courtroom. You know, and just leave it at that, and ask her what. You know, uh, uh, just leave it at that. See, and see what she says. And if she says, "Well, we're going to require a certain amount of money." Say, "Well, the best I could do is five dollars right now." But as soon as I could pay up, the rest, believe me, I'll, I'll pay up. How do you want to work uh, payment schedule? Well, like I said, you could use the old uh, king and the court, uh, uh, you know, the courts are free to the king and the subjects. But, you know what, I really don't want to use that. I'd rather just pay for the use of the courtroom and work out some payment plan with them. You know, I don't want anybody giving me anything free because it's never free. There's always something attached to it. All right. Yeah, but the court clerk, yeah, they're not going to, um, cause they're not going to give you a case number because in order to do that, you're going to have to pay. So you got to go on the civil side the way they do it here. Now, well, like I said, all you do is say you, you make an arrangement without a pay, and it's like, ma'am, you're not interfering with my right to access a public courthouse, are you? All right. There you well, go. We need a case saying. number, though, right? We've got to have a case number. Well, I'm not. You're not. Okay. All I said was, all you do is go ask the lady that you'd like to file a case in this public courthouse. You know, she says civil or criminal. Say, mm, I don't know about civil or criminal. All I know is this man has done me wrong. And under the common law, I have the right to use this public courthouse to have this hearing, to have this matter heard and tried before a jury. You don't try to talk like them. Say civil. Say civil. Hmm, I'm not sure what civil means, but I do know I've been done wrong. I know this is a public courthouse, and I know a jury could hear this matter. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna require a jury be seated. You know, within a, you know, like next month, after this man has got an adequate time to answer, I think it's 21 days, he's got to answer. So anytime after that, ma'am, if you got an empty room, I, I, I'd appreciate it. 